Referring to our paper review, we are focusing on the contribution of green tea in pharmaceutical field. So, first of all, let us introduce you the origin of pharmaceutical. It begins to develop during Greek ancient and became well known during Arabic ancient. So these two books prove that pharmaceutical knowledge had begun since 469 before century. In Islamic pharmaceutical activities, it was based on rational, empirical, sanitary and practical which they reflected back to the Prophet Muhammad words saying that for every disease there is remedy. So the early pioneer in this field was Al-Dimashqi who treated the successor and son of second Khalif of Abbasid who is Harun al-Rashid. There were also various other Islamic scholars along with their excellent works that gives a great impact in pharmaceutical sector such as Ibn Sina who had written Al-Qanun Fitib and also Al-Biruni who had written Al-Saidala Fitib. So next, let's talk about the origin of green tea. It was already found in China since early 3000 before century and it was brought to Japan by a Buddhist priest. And aside from that, in 8th century, the discovery of a method to inhibit oxidation from green tea via steaming was also discovered. According to Rivenberg, he stated that green tea has apparently became the official drink of the war in Afghanistan. Let's move into the real discussion. It is mainly about how we are going to benefit the powerful of green tea as a preservative. Few years ago, paraben has been chosen as the number one preservative due to the low cost and the effectiveness. However, in response to customer concerns, many brands have started to manufacture and label paraben-free products including lotions, lipsticks, shampoos, scrubs and other cosmetic products. It was strengthened by a research done by Philippa Deber and her co-workers which had detected parabens in 18 of 20 samples of tissue from breast tumor biopsies. It was also proven that the estrogen exposure link to breast cancer development and progression. That is why everybody is looking for the replacement of paraben for the preservative and we found that the best solution is the green tea extract. Thus, this video will emphasize about the green tea polyphenol chemical composition and its benefits along with its Islamic perspective. Next is the chemical constituents of green tea extract. Green tea contains compounds such as catechin, other polyphenols, caffeine, tannin, vitamin, and mineral. Catechin is colorless, astringent, and water-soluble compound. It is important for antioxidant activities. The common structure of the catechin consists of two benzene rings, which are A rings and B rings. There are four types of catechins in green tea extract. The first is EGCG, epigallocatechin trigalase. Next, ECG, epigallocatechin trigalase. Third one is epigallocatechin EC and the fourth one, epigallocatechin EGC. But the most effective antioxidant compound is epigallocatechin trigalase, which is ECG. Other polyphenols contain flavonols, quercetin, camphor, mic microcetin, theogaline. About 7 to 1400 of dried leaf contain other flavonols, which is flavonol. Quercetin, camphor, microcetin are the example of the flavonol. Next, jugaline is the derivation from gallic and quinic acid. About 4 to 6% of green tea contain theanine. Theanine is non protein of amino acid, which is an metallated derivative of glutamine. Theanine gives a taste sweet and fresh, while catechin and caffeine give the taste of bitter and estrogen to the green tea. About 2.5 to 4.5% of caffeine presents in green tea and also another methane xanthine also presents in the green tea. The example of methane xanthine is theobromine and theophylline. 
The vitamins that present in the green tea are vitamin B and vitamin C. Next, about 6 to 8 percent of mineral presents in the green tea. The example of the minerals that presents are manganese, fluoride, and aluminium. Are four main benefits of green tea polyphenol. The first one is as powerful antioxidant. The second one is as anti obesity. The third one is promote oral health. And the last one is anti-diabetic. First, polyphenol as a powerful antioxidant. Both oxidation and free radical can cause harm to body. Polyphenols are natural antioxidant that will protect cells and body from damage. Antioxidant is a molecule stable enough to donate electron and neutralize free radical by reducing its capacity damage. It acts as an inhibitor. Catechin Caffeine and ECDC is a constituent in polyphenol that leads to anti-obesity. By consumption of decatechin and regular exercise, it results in reduced diet-induced obesity. Caffeine is an active compound in green tea that increases the fat burning. It is stimulant that aids fat burning and improves exercise performance. ECDC is a substance that can boost metabolism and lead to anti-obesity. Okay. Now let's move on to the next benefit of green tea, which is promote oral health. As we know, oral is always something that occur in our mouth. For the intro, among the oral health problems are tooth decay, plaque, cavity, gum problems, and halitosis. Tooth decay usually refer as cavity. The symptoms of tooth decay are first, food trap frequently between teeth, second, discomfort or pain in all around your mouth. Third, difficulty biting down on certain foods. Fourth, sensitivity to hot, cold, or even sweet food. Fourth, bad breath. And the last one is white then later dark spot on your teeth. Okay, this picture shows the three types of cavities that may occur to our teeth. First one is the smooth surface cavity. The second one is pit and TJ cavity that always occur on the top and the last one is root cavity next is the benefit of green tea to promote oral health the first point is catechin to inhibit the growth of bacteria second point is control inflammation and fight bacterial infection and the third point is fluoride that prevent dental decay so this is the different type of catechin that may contain in green tea. Lastly, benefit of green tea as anti-diabetic. There are two types of diabetes. The type 1 diabetes, also called as juvenile diabetes. It is a chronic disease which the pancreas fails to produce insulin either or produce a little. The type 2 diabetes mellitus is a common disease that interferes with the body's ability to store energy from food. Then, the benefit of green tea as an anti-diabetic. It is used to control blood sugar levels or regulate glucose level in the body. The tea polyphenol lowers the serum glucose by inhibiting the activity of the starch digestion enzyme amylase. And Daily consumption of green tea can reduce the risk of developing diabetes. Islamic Perspective of Green Tea Polyphenols In Al-Quran, Allah already mentioned about green plant in both Surah Al-An'am verse 99 and in Surah Al-Ra'du verse 4. Besides that, there is hadith about every disease has its cure. Narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "There is no disease that Allah has sent down except that He also has sent down its treatment." From this hadith, we can see that every single things that Allah created in this world are beneficial and useful for His servants. This is one of the reasons why the Muslim scholars advance so much in medicine because they have faith in Prophet Muhammad's words that for every disease has its cure and they were motivated enough to perform the research on plants, fruits and other resources to seek for the tre treatments of every disease. In addition, there is a hadith about treatment of any disease needs efforts to recover. From Usama bin Sharik said, 
Somebody we ask, O oh Allah's Messenger, shall we treat our illness? He said, Yes, O oh worshipper of Allah, use remedies. For indeed, Allah did not make a disease but made a cure for it, except for one disease. They said, O oh Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what is it? He said, Old age. It cannot be denied that Allah have the key to recover all of the disease in this world. But instead of that, we ask his servant are recommended to seek for remedy before leave the rest to him. Since 13th centuries, many Muslims medical philosophers like Ibn Sina, Ar-Razi and Ibn Rush had been used natural green plants as an alternative of remedies to treat their patients. For example, Ibn Sina was used green plant to treat neurological illness. Even though during that time, there is no advanced technologies to produce modern medicine, but because of their belief on hadith of Prophet Muhammad SAW had said, which is everything that Allah has created in this earth have, has benefits to human beings and every disease has remedies except death and this is be a great motivation to, for them to find the treatment. In conclusion, green tea is one of the herbaceous plants that possess lots of benefits for human health. The uniqueness of this plant is having the powerful antioxidant composed by the polyphenol which have the ability to treat cancer, obesity, diabetes and also promote oral health. The benefits of green tea had been studied by Muslim philosophers from the last 13th century and yet get popularized by the Western philosophers.